The power of the underground. Rome was founded on seven hills, legend tells us. The hills were surrounded by malarial swamps. At the time of the Punic War, the Roman port at the estuary of the Tiber was Ostia. Ostia is 14 miles from Rome. All the grain and other commodities arriving by ship from the far-flung Roman Empire all around the Mediterranean came into Ostia. The cargo was then transshipped on barges up the Tiber to Rome where it was offloaded on riverside docks into large warehouses. Three Roman emperors, namely Claudius, Trajan and Marcus Aurelius, tried to keep the harbour open, but as time passed, the efforts were abandoned. Today, Ostia is three miles from the sea and four metres above sea level. The salt marshes that cover the entire area from Rome to Ostia are all gone with the receding seas. Those three Roman emperors knew nothing about receding seas. Today, the situation has not changed. Today, port authorities worldwide still dredge, totally unaware of the receding sea phenomenon. There is nothing that can be done about the sea's recession. It is ongoing. But what is surprising is that today, we still don't know about falling sea levels. All we hear about today is rising sea levels. How could this be? The most misleading and deceptive factor is the debate in sea level data. Sea level has always been handed down to us as a fixed datum. This is a fallacy. Sea level datum is a myth. It does not exist. If sea level datum does not exist, how can we accept with any certainty that sea levels are rising unless we can prove it? By the same token, I cannot say with any certainty that sea levels are receding unless I can prove it. Well, in this series, I intend to prove it. So keep watching for the new videos in the mysterious receding sea series. <laughs>